What is up, guys? Welcome to Gamer Guardians Podcast. I'm your host, the Drunken Guardian, Danny Martinez. And today, we are missing the Sober Guardian, Danny. Uh, he's got adult stuff to do. So we got Randy the Rignarok, as usual. I'm not going to get used to the name change for quite a while. Yeah, I know. I, I, every every now and then, like in my mind, I'm slipping with TDG Gaming Podcast and all that stuff. Yeah, I do that too. Uh, and then Boneless Moans, Kevin. What's going on, gamers? Uh, I thought you were going to do the echo at first. Uh, oh, what's going <laughs> on, gamers? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, Letty, what's up? So uh, this is episode 76 of the podcast. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, today, we have almost... No, we have no news today. We literally have no <laughs> news. Not almost. We don't have any news today. It's been a slow week. Uh, I guess the whole Activision Blizzard uh, 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 being bought and all that stuff kind of broke the internet and broke the, the game industry. So they're still kind of like pining over that right now. So uh, today, I just thought that it would be fun to kind of talk about uh a, an interesting topic of an article that i read um and just so i could give them uh credit for that of course is structoid.com they had an article that said do you sit through the credits when you finish a game and i thought it'd just be fun to talk about like just to debate over and stuff like that what are your, what what, have, what is everybody thought on beating a game and then sitting through the credits and stuff like that um kevin you want to start with that uh <laughs> i'm gonna take my shot now Hold on. <laughs> fighting fighting games are are, are the definite nah, fight that nah because uh, i just want to take a shot <laughs> was oh. anything fighting games like? <laughs> <laughs> um nah like I, I sit through the credit especially uh for uh just to say for randy is uh i when i played kingdom hearts i didn't know ah, the ending i was so. I, I was gonna take my shot yeah i know ah. I, I knew I, you don't have to take it anymore my shot i'm gonna still uh, take it Oh, <laughs> just say just say Kingdom Hearts. Like, all right, I'm taking it. Uh, but uh, yeah, when I when I watched Kingdom Hearts, like when I beat Kingdom Hearts the first time, and I found out that there was like a secret ending and stuff like that, that's when I was like, ooh. So now every game that I I'd like sit through the credits, and I'm like, it's a good time to just like sit there and just be like, man, I really beat this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you see all the and you see all the people, and then they hit you with the thank you for playing, and I'm like, yeah. I'm not playing this shit ever again. Like, you don't see many know. games do that either. Like, not all the time. That like right after the credits, they say thank you for playing. Like, those are like yeah. rare moments too. True, true, true. And it sucks because it, it so so it doesn't matter what game you you you'll sit through all of them. You'll sit through all the credits. If it's if I could skip it, I would. Like, if it's a fighting game, like specifically like for the franchise that <laughs> I like, like if it's Tekken, I'm Take taking the shot. shot. I'm I'm taking another one. Uh, if it's Tekken, I would watch it because uh, it's like it's a whole story thing, and uh, like it doesn't let you skip the credits. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you got to sit there and watch it and uh, wait for the game. Or sometimes it does let you skip it, but uh, yeah, it, it it all depends on the game. Like if I was to sit there and watch every credit for every game that I've beaten, uh, it would be a lot. Like even the the game I bought you a while ago. Which one? Uh, the, you bought me the, a few. Uh, the Metroidvania one. I forgot the name of it. Uh, the Lotus one. Lotus War yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah that credit boy, mm. that shit hit me different. And I was like, I can't, I can't feel <laughs> any emotions <laughs> at this moment. But it was amazing. Mm. Uh, sit, sit. Sometimes sit there and watch the credit. And Marvel does that to you, like. For all my people that watch Spider Man, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, of course, <laughs> people people who say they're Marvel fans and yet don't sit through the credits are not Marvel fans. Like they probably seen one other movie. I'm and that's like, about you it. Fucking liar. But yeah, liar. Fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> when um <clears throat> when he said Marvel, the first thing that came to mind was uh, NBC two, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, no, that's a good one because the song for uh the staff role, it's so fucking nice. It's amazing. It's, oh, it's yeah. very very poignant. Yeah, it, it's okay. a cute song. Yeah, I, I I always thought it depends for me. Like, if it's good music, then I'll sit there and, and, and appreciate the music a bit. Or maybe, like, for the most part, I, my opinion is when a credits roll, I pay no attention. I, uh, yeah. I'll still keep the credits rolling, but I'll walk away and I'll go do something. I'll make something. I'll drink something, whatever it may be. But if the, if, if the music is banging, I'm going to, like, 
probably blast the volume up a little bit or pay attention to the music, but still no pay no mind to the credits that much. And I, and it's just mostly just because my ADHD is not going to allow me to just sit there and, and pay attention to to the appreciation of people scrolling on the on the screen. There, that's just <laughs> that's that's just my own personal problem. Yeah, because what is it? The um the article itself was like talking about how the author appreciated like reading all of the names and whatever the hell. Yeah, and it's like yeah, that's a little too much. I don't I don't think that I could personally do that. Um. For for me, it's definitely like you know the music or uh, if it's something that catches me, then I would kind of pay attention. Like if they have like little scenes playing as the credits are rolling, so that I'm not looking at the names, but I'm looking at what's like happening on screen. Um, or if anything, like uh, I'll I'll take my shot in a bit in Dream Drop Distance or Kingdom Hearts. Mm. Um, as the credits roll, they they have two credits. They have the one like the normal staff roll, and then they also have a little mini game where you kind of like drop and you start blasting like all the letters that are showing up for all the names that appear mm -hmm. and there are certain letters that are like they're a different um they're a different color so everything else is white and those are gold you have to so it's smell... a little inter interactive thing what happened it's a little interactive thing you could do while you're, yeah, while yeah, you're sitting yeah, there yeah um but yeah it's uh what the fuck does it spell i forgot what it spells but if you get all the letters and get the phrase, once it shows up at the very end, then you unlock like a secret ending oh. with that. So it's it's more incentive to kind of do that. Mm. Um, what else is a good one? Oh, the Warriors. The Warriors has a really really good fucking end credit sequence. God, I don't remember. Has, it's has been so long. The it? Rockstar no? game, right? Bro, I yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. It's been so long. Are all right. Well, they have it on PlayStation. Like so you could purchase it. It's like four or five bucks. It's so fucking good. Fucking but, do it, dude. <laughs> oh, I, I do, do it, please, and we can all play online. <clears throat> but um, what is it at the at the end? You know how the rifts like they surround um, what the fuck is his name again? The leader of the rogues, the one that shot Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Spoilers for yeah, whoever yeah, hasn't yeah. seen the movie. Oh god, a thirty-year-old movie? No, more than that, right? Spoilers for whoever hasn't seen the movie. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, so. One of the gangs, they all surround this one dude, and they, like, beat the shit out of him. But for the credit sequence, you could take control of the gang members taking turns to beat him up. Mm. So okay, that's, I didn't, that's pretty yeah, fun. I didn't, you I didn't. could still play the game as a credits roll. Uh. You, know, you know it's my favorite credit scene, uh, Devil May Cry uh, 3, when you're fighting with Lady. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's fucking crazy. So the credits uh, are rolling while you're still playing the game? Yeah, the credits are rolling. They just spawned like infinite amount of enemies. Mm. Just fighting with like a uh, lady, which is literally see. A I, I like that. <laughs> see, it still keeps you busy. And like, mm -hmm. I like, I like Randy's idea too. Like, e either something interactive or even just little scenes going on, kind of like giving you backstory of the progression of the ending. Like, I, I, when you said that, I, I remembered um, one of the Legend of Zelda games, like one of the, like the the eighteen the um the sixteen bit games or something like that. Mm -hmm. Where like you beat the game, and then as the credits roll, there's like little screens of like the village going back to normal and people going back to normal, and like and just like everything is just being peaceful and, and calm and stuff like that. It the dog, but yeah, the dog. Is the dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so yeah, I like I like those type of things, but I especially like the ones that allows you to skip them. So I'll definitely I'll definitely skip credits, that's for sure, because most of the time uh, yeah. back, back then back then I used to wait because mm -hmm. for some strange reason, if you skipped credits, you'd also skip any cutscenes that were at the end. But yeah. like now nowadays, you know, game devs have been more more nice about it. So like you skip you'll skip the credits and you can still go straight to the cutscene afterwards and then I was just like, I'll be like, all right, I'm done. Um uh, what the fuck is gonna say? The not all credits are great though, mm -hmm. like uh, kickstarted is... games and shit like that. Oh. oh God, with all the kickstarted names. Yeah. Jeez. There's... Yo, this is a what the fuck <laughs> game this was is, it? This, this backer. I think it's it's either ukulele or Bloodstained that has like a ten minute credit scene. Oh fuck, man! And you can you skip it? No, you can't skip it. Yeah. That's no. Right. So so like to get past all like the errands like A A. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking nightmare and a half. A, a Rod. Isn't, isn't a, that a what Rod. happened? <laughs> isn't that what happened with um 
That Mega Man Miracle Ball, what was it called? Uh, Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh, Mighty Number no. Nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck Mega. that game. I think that happened I mean, the same way too. It took it took a long every, time. Every single Kickstarter game, it's just yeah. it's terrible. Oh man, that's Wait, yeah, that's true. I, I'm trying to figure out if Gun Vault was a Kickstarter game. Mm. No, I don't think so. No, but that that I felt like that came out after uh, Mighty Number no. Nine, and it did the same. It had like the the eight bit uh concept. But it did mm-hmm. what Mighty Number no. Nine did, but better. And I was like, "How? How did you <laughs> fuck this up, Mighty Number no. Nine? It's your game." <sighs> number Nine is a fucking disappointment. I uh, I feel like on the podcast I mentioned what like their their special reward was, like a special yeah, casing you for did. the game yeah. that didn't fit the game. Yeah, is it zero? <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, it was bad. Do, you... do any of you have like a least favorite or favorite credits? I have favorite uh, credits, that's for sure. I have two favorite like credits, that's for sure. Number one, Portal One. Oh, that's everyone's favorite. Still alive. And then, por- and then Portal Two is my number two. <laughs> that, okay, so one, just Portal. <laughs> yeah, just Portal. I I, portal. I love it. Like like you get to. It's just it's a, it's a hilarious scene because Glados has you know being some weird AI robot. Like she has such a personality. So for her to like sing at the end was like hilarious and then you could still see the credits on the side if you wanted to but for the most oh. part it's still like this whole graphic with her singing yeah and the words are being like typed out as like she's saying it so the yeah. lyrics are appearing on screen yeah <clears throat> so it's like a oh. talk and text type of thing uh god hand has a really 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 good fucking credit scene really yes look look it look it up after this please okay. They do like this whole musical number with all the characters dancing and shit. Oh, geez. But one of the lines is a uh, dragon kicked your ass into the Milky Way. <laughs> Wait, that's that good. they say that or they do that? No, no, they they say it. Like okay. that's one of the lines in it and it's like it's supposed to be like glam rock. Uh-huh. It was yeah, very yeah. like Motley Crue-ish. Uh. Mm. It's it it's bad. It's great. Uh I have two uh that I like and one that I dislike strongly. Ooh. Um, I love. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be very basic. Uh, it, does it have to end the game, or does it have to just be the credits that roll for the game? Just credits. Um. Okay. So, Black Ops. Oof. Black Ops. Oof. That's the best no, one, no, no. dude. Yeah. Black Ops. Black Ops. Oof. That's the. That's the fifth uh, one. Black, it's, <laughs> because the thing is, when you end it, when it's zombies, but it's like when you end the the, like basically do the Easter egg. It ends the game automatically, but it doesn't give you credits. It just sends you back to the main menu. And then, like, I wish it had credits because it's like the cinematic mm. break. It feels like an ending. So mm. it's uh, for Black Ops 2 um, Alcatraz because the ending is basically uh, you end up, uh, spoilers, it's you, you end up killing either the rat or the rat kills the people that got them sent to prison, which is Alcatraz, and that's like the whole concept of it. And the the ending for it, it's like it's it feels good, but you have to kill your one of your teammates, and it's like is, that's the part. Uh huh. Go ahead. Is that the one with like the mobster actors? Yes. In it? Yes. Oh. Yeah, and that one is fucking. The map is awful, but the the Easter egg for it is amazing. I I like the the cast for it. Um. Yeah. You, you've seen a Bronx Tale, haven't you, Dan? Mm hmm. You know Danny? I mean Danny, Sunny, 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 Sunny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, him. He, he the actor that plays him is in it. Yeah. Uh, the characters. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's like they they got some like really you know big great. faces in it. It's it's yeah. pretty mm-hmm. it's pretty neat. Um, and then my second is Persona Four. Uh, like. Uh, yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah I would. I was just Bro, gonna say. You know what? Hold on, time out. <laughs> if I have Kingdom Hearts and Guitar Man, Kevin should have fighting games and Persona. And Persona, no, no. Persona, Persona franchise. Just Persona no. Four. Just P Four. Yeah, that's P4. the only one like, you fucking play all the time. <laughs> because what you played P Four G recently? You had P Four on the like the PSP. I have, the, I, have, <laughs> yeah. I have it on the PC and the PC I'm just going <laughs> to I'm going to true run it. Nah, so the reason why I love the ending for Persona 4 is that it shows the characters like when you were in high school and then it shows them grown up. And it's like during oh, the like, credits? Like, yeah, yeah, during the credits. Oh. And it's like a it's a sad ass song and if you listen to that song and just watch it you're like, "Why did they have to grow up?" And then you're like, <laughs> "Why did I have to grow up?" And it's like, "Bro, I I love yeah, like, it's like I love bro. It. It's like, bruh, like, damn, I really went, because you went through so That's much. That's your cue, Dan. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, I missed my opportunity. <laughs> bruh. Let, let's go back. It's like, what? It's like, what? It's like, it's like, bruh. Oh. There you go. Damn, that joke, that joke was good, but it was. 
Just a little off. <laughs> Fuck off. Damn. The fact that he had a counter for you. Yeah, right? He was waiting for that counter. <laughs> but, like, but yeah, it shows, like, it shows all the characters, like, when they were in high school and then when they're grown up. And then it's like you've been through so much, like, a, a literal journey with these people that you see them become adults and, like, you know, live, uh, you know, a, a life, like, a life for, past this. And now I'm like, I'm just like, now I got to play this game again and get 13,000 hours to get these goddamn suits and 100% it. But mm. it's worth it. It's worth I, it. The story- I like the, I'm sorry, like, uh, I like the, um, uh shit what was it uh the remake for medal of honor when they when they when they, when they went back to like the more um current events type of medal of honor game i i like the ending to that one like talking about getting emotional and stuff like that Th- that one got me emotional like i've never seen combat uh you know me being in the military i was a medic and i i seen some shit but like i never actually went to combat and but the ending to the game the way it ended and everything and then afterwards, uh, the credits roll. It played um, a specific song from Linkin Park. It was called. It's called Castle Castle of Glass. Ooh, that's my favorite. And it's such that's a it's shit. such a like good like strong song. It was just like a perfect fitting for the ending of that game, and it, it gets you like really emotional when when kind of just the soldiers to kind of die in the end mm-hmm. of the game. Uh, spoilers, Ooh, spoilers, spoilers. I guess. Uh, yeah. but like you know, is this that, a spoiler episode? Like fucking. I get apparently <laughs> so. It's turning into one. I want to change the title to spoiler. <laughs> spoiler, <laughs> spoiler alert! Spoiler the warning. episode. Spoiler warning: We talk about games. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, like the end of the game. Like I mean, just like real life. Like not all the soldiers always end up coming back home, and that's kind of like the way they left it. And, Isn't that one a military song, song? Actually, like the music video, Castle of the Glass. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. The, the, the yeah, song, yeah, yeah. the I song. The music video. That music video is fucked yeah, up. It is. Yeah, and he Mike Shinoda. He does a lot of good music that kind of like fits that kind of thing. Like uh, "Where'd You Go?" I don't know if you ever heard that. That was one. the Fort Minor song. Yeah. That was Fort Minor. Yeah, that was his his side rap group stuff. Which I wish they did more with him, but um, he only came out with one album. And yeah, "Where'd You Go" was a really good one. That was very much um focused no, on military one. and like you know they're always going away always going out and and your family always wondering where'd you go and you know when are you coming back and stuff like that yeah because yeah. they miss you so and it, it feels like it's so. forever since they've been gone <laughs> and you know please come back home i thought I was exactly say, uh you guys kept saying <laughs> where'd you go i was like cotton eye joe and i was like <laughs> where did you come from where did you go <laughs> um oh, i'm gonna geez. diverge the conversation for a bit yep. but uh you know what hits different have you I've, I've known everybody everybody knows me oh I, i'm gonna have three then it's gonna be persona fighting games and anime i can't talk okay about okay things. how about how about you don't take three shots in one go no 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 no. i'll have some time no 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 I'm yeah saying, like i'm the third would be the third would be anime oh because, oh oh his okay 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 yeah, yeah, yeah things yeah, that he like, falls for yeah um because like have you ever watched the anime and then the opening hits at like the last oh, yeah. episode and it hits it just hits a slight bit different and you just get like the goosebumps and everything like when a when a game does that i'm like nah this is this is really the this is really the last episode the last mission the last <laughs> chapter and i'm just like i'm not ready for this <laughs> I, I i get i get the feeling but i don't get it as invested with that kind of uh idea for anime specifically mostly because throughout like the entire lifespan of an anime, if it's a long series anyways, throughout the entire lifespan of an anime, they change the fucking intro and outro music so often. Like every season is like a different song. And I was just like, yeah, I'm kind of over it. Like I don't even I don't even bother listening. I'll listen to it once and then I kind of move on. Uh, um a really, really good intro was uh season was Golden Wind of Jojo. Yes. That one was fucking JoJo. awesome. Because like it stayed the same throughout the entire series, like the entire season. Mm-hmm. Um it change the more you found out about like the story that was going on and then towards the end when there's like they have like this little fucking monologue in it that just surprises you it's mm-hmm. fucking awesome mm. um another one i can recommend is uh bongo stray dog it's a detective it's a detective anime and it's like the the opening changes i i will i won't lie it changes because it goes from the beginning opening i believe is uh trash candy by uh grandino which is a Japanese band, and then it goes to uh, Reason Living, and then every time Reason Living is, it's like a dramatic last episode, balls to the wall, fighting, like, for, like, a good 15 minutes, and I'm like, 
like when it hits, it's like it hits at the perfect moment so that you get the chills. They go into like their final form and all that stuff. And I'm like, this is fucking cool. So <laughs> that's why I was like, that's why I, I love music from like music in general. It doesn't matter if it's from game or anime, because it's like when it hits is my favorite part. See if oh, yeah. Randy Randy's writing in the chat now. Welcome to Anime Guardian. Like I, <laughs> if I had time, I would so make a separate epi- or a separate like segment just for animes. A separate segment just for like fucking um um comics. Oh God! Fine, Randy, <laughs> you can have it. Okay. It's just hold it's on. just I'm, all I'll, you. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a shot glass. Just yeah, one second. <laughs> yeah. Lefty, you spit. You spit. <laughs> How do you how do you pronounce that? Bungo Stray Dogs yeah. season one. Bungo, yeah, bongo. it's like bong, like bongo, like uh. the same, like the bongo, but it's uh the same way. It's it's an amazing anime. Yeah, uh, I gotta I gotta see, have you like write a list of some stuff for me to watch, and and uh, not to say that like I have time to watch it. Like, but, but listen, listen, you, I definitely always have a list for people. But the thing is, I give lists. If you don't watch it, you don't watch it. But the list, yeah, 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 you, you watch. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. Is I want to have a list of stuff to watch like during my my off time or vacation time, like in the su- you know, hopefully in the summertime, because mm-hmm. I'm because I'm overloaded with classes and shit like that. So like I have no time for myself, except for now. Like Thursday was pretty much it. So, um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking back to credits and stuff like that. Like the credits things. Um, all right. So we talked about what we liked. Did we talk about what we didn't like? Cause I can't think no, of any, any credits. Say... Oh, actually, 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 there yeah. is uh one that does go into, um, something like the legend of Zelda game that you were talking about. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okami. That one shows yes. everything after you, uh, yes. you defeated Yami. Ooh. Spoilers. Yeah. 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 That's true. Can I, can I say one? Mm. No. Kingdom Hearts three. I hate the beginning of the game and the ending. (laughs) The beginning and the the ending? Yeah, because it gives you with the two point, what is it, (laughs) 2.9 at the beginning of the game, and then it hits you with three. And when you play it, I'm like, fuck you, Kingdom Hearts. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's funny about, okay, let me me elaborate on this one. So technically, um, 3D, Dream Drop Distance, it's 2.8. So when, when it ends, the secret ending that you get, it's supposed to be the way that Three begins with Yen Sid talking to uh to grown up, you know, this Sora and Riku and whatever the fuck him becoming a master. That's the way that that ends. So that's how two point eight ends. So when you finish the first area in uh, Olympus, it it shows you Kingdom Hearts two point nine, and then the game starts. You know, with the whole fucking thing. You know, Randy, I just thought something to myself right now. You know what works so well for you? Like fuck streaming. You don't have to stream. Don't ever stream. You know what you should be doing? tiktok videos yeah like you can make a whole tiktok page just on kingdom hearts facts and a lot of like random shit you would be so successful with that did you oh did, that burnt oh god i had a did shot you, did, did you see did you see what the pre-order bonus is for the, the switch version so, oh, oh oh wait wait the pre-order wait, bonus version? what I is it them. it's another keyblade it's the what is it seeking star seeker for three keyblade? Yeah, for three, but it's in rent. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Did you? Wait, so what? You're going to have. That's that's stupid. They already have the fucking uh, Triple R's Arcane. What are they going to do with that? I don't know. It's just, it, wait, it's just a skin? It's just a it's, skin. It's, it's not a skin. Uh-huh. It's a separate. Okay, so it's a separate Keyblade. But. Because what is it? The PlayStation gets a Keyblade. Xbox gets a Keyblade. They mm. already have theirs. It's the green one. So the red one, obviously, being Nintendo. Okay. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you could just, like, it, it's a pre order bonus? I think it's a pre-order bonus, so you can purchase it. I'm yeah. pretty sure you're gonna have to purchase it because uh, it's already called the 595 combo, where you purchase the other two Keyblades that are available, mm-hmm. along with like the first one that you have, and it's just a uh, triple R's Arcanum that you have. So they're all um, second form in a separate way, and then you max them out, and then you just use the reaction command for each of them once they're all maxed out. So you R's Arcanum into R's Arcanum into R's Arcanum for 595. I what what, what all I heard game? was Arcanum. That's that's all I heard. Yeah, that's it. Okay. It's what just, it's this? just, what? what? What game is this again? It's, it's the bullshit <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> oh, take a shot. <laughs> take a shot. Yeah. So, so back to credits. I was going to say, um, before there is, I, and, and, and I can't remember the game. I want to say is one of the Metal Gear games, but I'm not too sure, but I know it's been done before. There are, there are times where you'll see a credit in a game and then it'll still go back to the game and you can still play the game. Like for another like fucking thirty minutes or something, and then like I think it was Metal Gear, no, not three. 
Was it three? Maybe it three. Like three. It sounds like maybe or three two? or four. Oh, I don't think it's two. two. No, it wasn't two. No, two. He fucked with the game a lot. Two yeah. was with the whole Hideo one in the corner, the little Easter egg where he like shuts your TV off. Uh, I don't remember that, but um, yeah, I, I, I I'd have to, I'd have to look it up. But like, I know some games do that, and I hate that so much. Like, don't, don't put me through that stuff just to find out that the game hasn't <laughs> just ended yet. Game. Just, just give me the endings of the game, or just let me continue on playing. Actually, actually, you know what? Who did that? <clears throat> um, near, wouldn't it? Near Automata. Didn't they do that? Uh, or was it actually? Well, technically, I mean. Yeah, because they had so many multiple endings. I guess I'm kind of, I kind of mix it, mixing it all up because they had so many multiple endings. You could beat the game in like thirty minutes, technically, for like certain endings. You could eat fish and die. Yeah, and then and then get an ending out of it. <laughs> yeah, you eat, you eat salmon and she just blows up. Cause she's a That's robot. It. Yeah. In Automata, if you self destruct, you you get an ending, right? Yeah. Yeah, you That's could also delete too. System Thirty Two. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you take out her OS and it's like, are you sure you want to do it? And you take it out and you yeah. break yourself. And you get and credits like, roll and everything. Yeah, you know yeah, I don't like least, that. It, you know it's a game I love, but I hate the credits because it does it every fucking year and it just blows minds. And I mean every year in the game, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. You do the same thing. You beat the boss. You go home. You take whatever the fuck the crystal thing is. You go home. You party. And guess what? You gotta watch a fucking credit for thirty minutes that you can't skip. I'm like, this is insane. This and is it, a it's square credits. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's it's square credits with no credits, bro. You're just watching a cutscene for thirty minutes, looking like, so that's it. Your dad talks to you. He's like, all right, son or daughter. I'm probably a son. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm probably wait. So you're watching father. a cutscene while the credits are rolling. You're watching a cutscene. You don't know if the cu- the credits are coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like Got that. It. I was like, I hate this. It sounds like I the ending it. to Lord of the Rings. Like people are just waiting for that shit to end and it doesn't happen. <laughs> Bro, I played the Lord of the Rings, the the GameCube game. You just press uh, B A. That's a cheat. <laughs> you just reflect. You reflect every projectile. Uh. You swing it back at them. So your character just looks like this. <laughs> actually, he's using a mic though. <laughs> actually, Randy doesn't uh Okame do that? Doesn't doesn't this roll credits and then it continues the game? Cuz when when didn't you like when you first beat Orochimaru you you kill him oh, the oh, first it, time it and it, it goes doesn't roll credits. Doesn't it, it I, oh, it doesn't then? It's not a mistake. No, no, no. No. For, I could have sworn it went Naruto. to two, it's Orochi just Orochi. Yeah, 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 you know what I meant. No, I it's uh, <laughs> Orochi. No, when you defeat yeah. Orochi, it's like <laughs> The, what the, it's not that they that they put credits or anything. It's just that Orochi's a red herring the entire time, mm-hmm. because it's like, oh, they give you this whole speech of how like successful you were and this long cutscene. But then it's like, oh, but wait, hold on, darkness spewed from him in four uh, different directions. I, I remember. So go fight I remembered darkness. credits, and Dark. then it, and then it, and then the reveal happens that he was a red mm-hmm. herring. Uh, but yeah, I'm mistaken then, I guess. Was Orochi in Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> I'm scary. Fuck off. Um. <laughs> No, no, I, I will tell you this. Though. It does feel like that because those long speeches that they give do feel like credits should come after them. Yeah. Because every single time the game should have ended, in quotes, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, but trust me. A... When I first beat it as a kid, I was like, wait, I thought I, I thought I won. What happened? I'm like, I, yeah. I beat the dragon. The dragon was the one that was and, evil, right? And funny, funny enough, that the game actually, the game actually put me off for a while. Like now, as what now that I'm older, like I appreciate those type of things and and the length of the game because that's a long ass game. But like after you beat Orochi, I was just like, yeah, I beat the game finally. It's good because it took me quite a while. It took me what Sports, 20, 20, 20, 30 hours, I guess, for the first boss, like completing everything, doing everything, yeah. and then really. Well, I mean, I I did everything. Like, I took my time. I I, I really like was. You really took your fucking time. Yeah, I did. But <laughs> but like, but then after, but doing? then after, like Orochi died, and I did it, and then like the reveal happened, and it wasn't the end of the game. I was just like, I'm not doing this, and I didn't put the game down for weeks, if not months, Damn. probably until I until I went back to it. I was like, all right, I'm ready to jump on it. And then my, my autistic little ass was so excited for it. I felt betrayed because uh, I was like, I beat him, but then like I was really happy that there was more to play because I liked the dog. The dog, uh, the dog, the dog doing. doing. Actually, but a, but a speaking, dog. Of, speaking of the dog doing, when um when it was revealed that that Amaterasu was gonna be in Capcom three, mm-hmm. oh, ooh, oh, oh. fucking main her, main her. 
I want to <laughs> take you for a ride. That was my main. I used to fuck everyone. Yeah, yeah, my thrust. Yeah, my team was her, beautiful Joe, and oh, where are you at? I don't know, bro. I'm 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 feeling something right now. Isn't so, isn't that? Hold, wait, Kevin Kevin's hold Kevin's changing his background video. I see that. Like that. We in the city, what baby. Is that? I don't know. I don't know. Um anyways, so so let's 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 move on now for for time's sake anyway so we can keep the episode short. Uh so that, yeah, those are our thoughts on the whole waiting after credits things. I guess some of us appreciate it, some of us don't. I guess it depends on the situation. Um we'll just go straight to the uh the game and beatdown stuff. Uh, sadly, we don't have Danny to argue with over this stuff, but we're gonna move on with that. <laughs> so it's gonna be biased as fuck. It's Let's do it. <laughs> and, and 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 actually, and actually, it, it it's technically better with three people because at least if two people sided, we have a an actual tiebreaker instead of like having it being even. If if something is happening, because that happened last game. Last time we had maybe like two two fights that were like um not last game like last episode, but like the last time we did it. Uh, there were like two fights that 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 went even. We didn't know what the hell to do, but um, all right. So recap real quick. Again, we had Jigglypuff beat Rathalos. We had Godzilla beat Bahamut. We had Bowser beat King K. Rule. Uh, what is this? We had uh, Parasite Eve beat Metroid. We had Sephiroth beat Ganon. We had the Xenomorph beat the Liquor. We had Boxhead beat Pyramid Head. We Hell had yeah. we had Nemesis beat Lady D. That was a good a good a good debate on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had Necromorphs beat the Clickers, and now we got two, three. We got right, so we got three more, unless we can come up with some more, and then uh, and then we'll move on to like the semifinals. So we got two more or three. Sorry, three more. Uh, the first fight we have is Adamantois from Final Fantasy fourteen. Was it the Giant Mountain? Was it fourteen? Fifteen. 15. Uh, oh, yeah, 14 is online. Duh. Uh, 15, and then Dark Side, the giant shadow monster from Kingdom Hearts. So, Randy, I, I know you want to go on your on your thing for Kingdom Hearts, so go ahead. Um, Anybody found a notch because of my background? It's blurry. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, my stigmatism. My stigmatism. <laughs> you got stigmatism? <laughs> you got isma? You got eczema? <laughs> Um, uh, fuck. I. Oh. Uh, technically, okay. technically, 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 you just opened up. You opened up the doors to darkness right here, buddy. Oh, Haha. Boy. Get it? I'll take a My. shot because uh, he's gonna be angry. <laughs> <laughs> just out of sheer annoyance. Um, keep it short. Dark side. Okay, dark side is the boss of Kingdom Hearts One, sure. But the thing is that there isn't just one dark side. There's multiple dark sides that reside in the darkness. Um, what are we talking about here? Dark side in general? As like we're talking an, about as dark side, the one that Sora has been fighting for the most part in the game. The dark. Uh, shit. Uh, no, uh, uh, it's gonna be very much biased, but also, um, even though Adamantos has like a giant fucking health pool and like a lot of longevity, uh, dark side could just sum- summon a bunch of shadows and just you know ankle shank it the whole time. <laughs> He can literally jump him and say "fight back." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, I'll, I'll give it to Dark Side. Projectiles, so, summoning shadows. I was thinking the same it, thing it's a raid too. Boss. It, it, I was thinking the same thing too because Adamantoids. Although, yeah, you're you're right. It's a, it's pretty much just a giant health pool thing. Uh, he hit, he does hit hard, but it's slow. It's very like it's very, predictable. very slow. Yeah. So. Uh... Okay, so I guess it's unanimous. Hold on, guys. I got you right now. Unanimous. We all agree. There we go. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Confetti poppers everywhere. There you go. Yay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we go on to the next one, mm-hmm. did we all played 15 here? Yeah. Did any of you use the Ring of the King to, like, just siphon the health of the Animantoys? No. 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 I didn't bother with the Animantoys, honestly. Huh? I didn't bother with the Animan toys. Uh, it's it takes well over an hour. Yeah, to I do that. Just did no, oh. no, 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 no. With oh. the ring, with the oh. ring. Hold on, mm. hold on. Do you guys want me to tell you a story <laughs> of me beating Animan toys? You, you no, no, no. It's, it? it's very quick. Okay, so I beat Animan toys. Uh, Animan toys is 
You're talking about uh, Noctis, right? Yeah. Okay, so I had uh, he has what ninety nine million nine million health. Ninety nine. So ninety million. Ninety million. I and, don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So so basically, I was hitting a hundred and thirty max with my strongest weapon at the time. I beat him at level thirty. Why would you even attempt that? But wait, there's more. So it took, I beat it on Xbox and it took me no bullshit, no bullshit, 70, 72 hours to beat the boss consistently of me playing the game to beat him. <laughs> so you just kept the system on? I kept the system on. <laughs> Jesus. But, the, but, this, but, but wait, no, I did. I did. Uh, it, this is during the, the. Well, yeah, I'm assuming like, I mean, 72 hours, you have to sleep and eat and drink and. Yeah. But can I tell you something Jeez, funny? The it was it's actually it was actually five days it took me to beat him because um I I was in the air and I was attacking him. And you know how Final Fantasy 15 has that thing that if an enemy knocks you out of the range, you have to fight them again. Yeah, the everything so, resets. Oh no. So guess what happened? <laughs> I had oh, to fight geez. him again from the beginning help. And I was like, I wanna die. This is not this is not what I signed yeah. up for. That, that so, ain't it, Chief. It's yeah, not. So not, I basically nope. did like what is it? Like sixteen mil damage on him for two fights, and I was like, "This is the worst experience of my entire life." I beat him, but you don't get anything from him. You don't get a, you don't get as much as experience. No, it's it's bad. See, it's at bad. least I was just like, all I did was have the ring, waste my mana, waited for it to come back, and then like keep on giving him the suck. Mm -hmm. Um, this character model gets really weird because when you like siphon them for everything, they're supposed to like flatten or like become really thin. So he was just like a stick figure at a man toys stretched up really really high. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was pretty nasty. But then when he died, he just like popped and like disappeared. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. That's Thank weird. You. I, I gotta. I'm gonna look up a video on that. Yeah, Bro. it's 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 stupid. It took it's... a lot of beers and just like straight boredom. Nah, I did it. I did it out of sure fun. And it doesn't matter if you're level 34 or 99. The damage is still the fucking same. It does not change. You're sitting there for a while. Yeah. Uh, I came. Um, I used the ring. I didn't use the the ring that gave him the suck, but I used the ring that like halts. EXP to like the end of the game. <laughs> and then I took it off and came. Bro, I hit level 99 so goddamn fast at like chapter 4 or 5 and I was like, man, this is easy. <laughs> Went to go fight him still 3 hours. I was like, fuck, I thought it was going to be like an hour and a half. Max. It wasn't worth it. Mm. Alright guys, so the next one we got going is uh, Shadow the Colossus, the Titan called Gaius. So it's the one with like the weird hammer arm, that type of thing, if you can try to remember that one. Arm. The long arm that you have to like grab onto and walk on to, in order to get up to him. Uh, so Shadow the Colossus, Titan, Gaius. And um, what is this? Colossal Titan? Yeah, Colossal Titan. From where? Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Oh, Attack there on Titan. Okay. Because okay. I, I wasn't the one that thought of this one, so I couldn't remember. Who thought of this one? Me. So go ahead, Kevin. You first. The Anime Guardian. Who else? The Anime yeah. Guardian, of course. I'm going to change my name to the Anime Guardian. I know <laughs> both. Um, to be honest, uh, the Colossal Titan. How, how tall is the uh, this Guardian from Shadow of the Colossus? The Shadow Col I can look it up. Yeah, please. Is it the, it's the one on the box, right? He's 108 feet tall. Okay. 108 feet? Yes. Yeah, 108 feet. 33 meters for anybody else. <laughs> for our British viewers. <laughs> Hold on, I don't want to sound dumb. If you're what watching you from about? overseas. <laughs> <clears throat> so what, what are you looking at? How tall the Colossal Titan is. Oh, the Colossal Titan. Wait, how, how tall is he again? 108. 108 feet. Okay, how many meters? 33. He is Effect? 60 meters tall. So he's double his size. He's double his size. And the only way that the um, Colossal Titan would lose is if he gets a... Spoilers alert. Huh, huh. It's been like four years. I mean, like five, six years. Uh, if he gets hit in the nape. And I don't think the Colossal Titan... That Colossal Titan is way too slow. I mean, sorry, not Colossal Titan, sorry. Well, it's not, I meant Gaius. Gaius is way too slow. Colossal Titan, like, he's a fucking a, a running back. Like, he's... No, you're he's, talking about the... the he's talking the about Armor Titan. 
Arm Attack. Oh, Ar- oh, oh yes, yes. I got him confused. Well, the yeah. one that goes over the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot. And he who, also who, has, who and he also, is slow. But and he's he also hot. is slow. Yeah, he has steam. He has men's is hot. He, he's he's just gonna <laughs> men's too hot. <laughs> men's too oh, men's not hot. hot. <laughs> men's not. <laughs> he's gonna sense. um. He's just gonna melt him. That's it. Yeah. He's yeah. gonna, he's gonna cook him, and that's it. GG. Yeah, but yeah, GG. Shake my hand, bro. <laughs> As my hand just. I think honestly, body. yeah. I, I mean, Gaius doesn't do much of anything. He slams down once, and yeah. that's pretty much it. And he, he just shakes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, even then, most of the tight, most of the titans, most of the colossus, colossi, colossus, 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 for the Col- most part, they're colossi. Like, uh, they're they're pacifists. Yeah, like they don't. Well, not pacifists. They're passive. They don't attack until provoked. Mm-hmm. Like you're the one. You're you're the villain. You're the dickhead going around fucking. You know, just killing them just because. Nah, mm-hmm. it's for a reason. Do we ever know what the reason is? Girlfriend? No. No. <laughs> Thanks to no dialogue. No, the whole point is that he's trying to resurrect his dead girlfriend. Did no one play the same Nobody, game? but nobody knows if it's a girlfriend. It could have been a sister. It could have just been a princess of another castle. It girl, like, it could have been anything. His girlfriend, which is also his sister, which is also the princess of another thing. Jesus. It's okay, wow, dude. Wow, Fucking, we wow, don't know. Wow. It must How be. How did we get here? <laughs> uh, I was going to make a very. for one second. I was going to make a very inappropriate joke, but never mind. I picked, I picked up my dog for one second in this conversation. <laughs> just snowballed into this. <laughs> But, but nobody, nobody, is, nobody really knows. Resurrection of a close one, a loved one. There's interpretations. Yes. Yeah. And there's a voice telling you, that, uh, Kevin. Can you can you hit us with the echo? Just like ayo, uh, kill them or some shit. Ayo, hey, my man. It's just you know, if you break, kill them, break the they bring them back. They bring back your girl. <laughs> yeah, and, and he's like, back, but it's, it's the option is there. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, okay. And he goes ahead and does it. There's only like one or two aggro colossi. Colossuses. Yeah. And they're the small ones too. They're like the, yeah. the little... The bull? The little bull. No, the bull and also the last one. The last one's super aggro. Yeah, you know, it's uh, yeah, the, like right. the giant flying one. Not, now that we're here, I'm flying, flying one. one. Not the, flying. The, the one that like has all the fucking... Levels? What is he? He's like, he's in the air. Yeah. Yeah. He's like one. a fucking tower. Yeah. Yeah. They all... The only thing that I just re- I just realized something at this very moment is that all the coloss the colossi colossi in uh Shadow of the Colossus would get smoked by Titans <laughs> from Attack on Titan. I just thought about that because they're not even though they're pacifists. They're, I don't think they're as intelligent as these humans are. It is colossi. Yeah. Colossi. Yes. Yeah, it's Shadow colossi. Of the, Shallow of the colossi. <laughs> <laughs> just added. That. <laughs> for no reason. I mean, but, the uh, colo- the colossus are aren't human, whereas the colo- the war- just t- the titans in general the titans. are the the, the titani. They have the, the titani are they have intelligence because <laughs> they are human still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? They are? Yeah. What? Spoilers. What? Spo- Spoilers alert. <laughs> okay. All right. We're still in it. So, so the Colossus Titan wins on that one. Dark Side won in the last game. So we got those down. Um, the last and final one before we go on to the seven finals. The Flood from Halo versus the Hive from Destiny. What the Despite fuck you, the Flood. Take a shot. Fuck. <laughs> I was hoping he didn't <laughs> see anything. <laughs> I tell you the funny thing, it's gonna be a two v one situation off rip. So I'm gonna just say the flood. Two v one. Yeah, two v one. Well, see, so he, here's the thing about this argument, though, and and I was very iffy about you you guys wanting to do this one because you guys know the the flood, I guess, a little bit, but I like I know the hive, like I know they're like the lore. His best friends, dude. I know I I've, I'm very much detailed in the hive lore. So like the hive is. I am Proto, definitely right? already gonna tell you. I'm already choosing the hive. Okay. So. Yeah, no, and so, yes, and yes, Crota, the, the Crota, is Crota, Crota, right? Crota is a Crota is a hive prince. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean like that. That's his race. Yes. Yeah. Because for the flood, technically, it's only one leader being Grave Mind, which yes. is tentacles of plenty. Freaking little shop of horrors looking ass. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> Um, well, no, then technically speaking, um, 
The hive got it. I don't. I don't so, know lore from. For, so here's the thing. Here's the thing with the hive. Mm-hmm. The hive are highly, highly more intelligent. Like you said, the grave mind. The grave mind is more of a, um, a hive mind. Mm-hmm. Like he controls kind of pretty much everything. But the hive themselves in in Destiny, they um, mm-hmm. they have their own mind and they have their own um. Uh, like societal structure and stuff and they're actually very much religious in a sense but not in the sense that you would think like they they worship one god they they worship like these worm gods and stuff and the worm gods are the things that give them the power <clears throat> hold the crazy I had shit polytheism hold, I had a- poly, polytheism in a sense but they're be, they're forced to worship these gods actually that's the thing is it- Oh, ooh, I was so close to slipping into saying yeah. something very offensive. I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> but, I, but I, the, I, I'm the... thinking about it and I'm going to just text it to you guys and mm-hmm. just you guys let me know if it's offensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, that, this, this is the thing like I would love to do. Just like for anybody who's listening, uh, Randy is eventually going to have uh, one episode dedicated to Kingdom Hearts. Like I would love to do an episode one day of just Destiny stuff and lore and like take questions from you guys because like Hive alone, not, not to, men- not to mention, <laughs> not, not to mention not to mention the cabal not to mention the vex not to mention all those other races and stuff like that they have uh, the cabal very, are technically romans they in a sense yeah they, they are like romans uh they have such deep backstory but the hive alone like since we're talking about them like they they're intelligent they're very highly intelligent uh, and they would take a shot the by the way because you did say it when you're like i want an episode talking about destiny oh like, fuck Okay, Destiny. fine. Fine, I'll give you that. Uh. Fine, I'll give you that. Um, the Hive are intelligent, so they would beat the Flood any day because the Flood is just one mind. It's just... Yeah, it's know. the Grave Mind. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, without the Grave Mind, they do fall, whereas, like, if there's a whole structure system behind it, like, you know, a uh, literal fucking hierarchy, then they got it. Yeah. Because, again, like, Crota's a Hive Prince. And, and not even just that, but like you got Crota, you have Oryx, which is the king, you have uh, Savathun, which is the queen, and you have oh shit, what was the uh, the sister? Um, Savathun. Yeah, Savathun is actually the new the new villain that's going on right now with with, with the game. Uh, she so and everyone each one of them is like a a a god of something. You know how like Loki is the god of mischief, God the, the mm-hmm. Thor is the god of thunder. <clears throat> Who's the god of bees? Nuts. <laughs> Got him? Shot. <laughs> Got him? <laughs> Coco, yes. Coco. So, like, Savathun is the goddess of, um... Oh, oh shit. What's the word? Um, 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 um... What's the, what, what was the word that, like, when, when we trick you? Uh... Mischief? Not mischief. Like, we lied to you. Like, using it's lies. Deception? She's like, deception. She's the god of deception. That's what she is. So, she... She she has connived her way in this story right now into not only inhabiting the body of one of the biggest characters in the game, but now in this new expansion, she has created her own hive guardians. She has learned how to use the light and like create her own guardians with ghosts and everything. So so you're there? You're the hive guardian? Go, 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 go. What? The you're hive, hive guardian? guardian? I don't get it. It, uh, TDG, whatever, fucking. <laughs> that, that joke went flo- it, it was just. Bro, Where are the crickets at? <laughs> crickets. The crows. There we go. There the crows. There That's go. better. Let, let that shit go. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yeah. I just like just like Randy could go on forever with that shit. I can go on forever with that game. So. Let, let, let's, what game? Let's let's move on. What game? So so we have uh, the Hive. Who won? Mm-hmm. I don't know what game you're talking. From where? What? The hive from where? Uh, bees. Bees. <laughs> I wish we can adjust the blurry because it's like unnecessary. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I like I this. tried I tried that filter before and it kept on blurring out my mic and my chair, so it looked like I was just like, and it's just a sea of blurriness. I was like, no, nah, I'm not I'm not using it. Um, right. but anyways, so since we got a little bit of time, um, what have we been playing lately? What have we been up to? Aside from, well, aside from shots, <laughs> some shots in three at three in the afternoon. Yeah, I had a rough day. Um, nah, I've been I, honestly, honestly, 
I've been playing fighters to the point that I got a new rank. Um, I'm a pride trooper now. It's under my my goal of what uh, game? Ultra, Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot because I just said the game. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, nah, I've been playing it um a lot more. I've been uh, experimenting with a new team, and my new team is uh, it's the Jiren, Gogeta, and uh, Gogeta Blue, and then Vegito. Mm-hmm. That team is so fun and dumb, and I've been I just been experimenting with them, and it makes it makes me like the game more because I'm I'm going out of my comfort zone, and like now I have people like oh Kevin you wanna Kevin you wanna play me I'm good and then I played them and then it's like a it's like a zero to five. <laughs> five hey, Kevin oh. you wanna play me I'm good. Yeah, and then it's a oh five and like I don't I don't like saying I'm. I'm not good at the game. I just have a lot of time playing it, and I like teaching new people. And I like teaching new people to play the game because the game is fun if you look for the right thing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's that's what I've been playing. That and I finally played Catherine. Oh wait, I good. thought you played Catherine a while ago. I've never played Catherine. I, so I you bought it, it but backwards. you never played it. I bought it, but I never played it. Oh. Um, and uh, I beat. I didn't. I did like the first mission, then I stopped because the game was too much for me. It started hitting too close to home. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the game is it's amazing so far. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. Yeah. It's yo the the story is nuts, man. That ending. Yeah, I, I want to um, know. Get back to me when you beat the game. I want to know if you guess that ending. Mm-hmm. Like if you get if you can guess what happens in the end. You're doing base or full body? I, I forgot to ask. Full body. Yeah, full, okay, full body's okay, okay, cool. full yeah, body's yeah. fairly different from the original, and I and I yeah. beat, I beat both, I, but but just let I, me know. I I feel like so. Do I need to play? I know that it just adds a third character as the third Catherine, um, to the story. But should I play the original and then play the the full body, or should I just play full? Body? No, honestly, um, they're, they're their own stories in their own right. Yeah, I would it's, honestly it's, just it's, look up. But well, after you beat full body first, but because you don't want anything spoiled. I, but no, no, no. I, I would. I, I would. I've seen the whole. Oh, seriously? Of, yeah, the whole playthrough of, of Catherine. Oh, I couldn't geez. find the game, so that's why I was. I was upset. Yeah, I was gonna say like look up the ending just for the original Catherine, so you can compare the two. Yeah, no, no, not full body. I need that the original. I've never. I haven't seen for a uh, full body. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Once I, okay. I beat it, I'll let so you no, you shouldn't. You don't have to play it then, because it's pretty much they're almost pretty much the same games, like gameplay wise. Ah, yeah. uh, okay, okay, okay. Gameplay, yeah, but story is different. Yeah, yeah. Let, yeah. No, but play, play, play full body, please. Play yes. full body. Oh, play full yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's really good. Really good. I was really surprised. I was pissed when I bought that game because I thought it was like some like action RPG or some shit like that, and I got into the <laughs> game and it was like a puzzle shit. I was, I hate puzzle games. And for some reason, though, I fell in love with that game so much. Like, it was just, it was so good. It was so well done. We got got Drunk Guardian. He's stupid. We know. Yeah. (laughs) We know. Ooh, Destiny. (laughs) Destiny. And yet, I won't enjoy Catherine. (laughs) He's like, why don't don't I have a gun? Where's my light? Yo, can, can I tell you another <laughs> game I was playing? And it got me pissed off to the point that I dropped the game. It hit me with the Dark Souls Get Good. I've been playing Burnout Paradise. I fucking hate that game. Every car is made of paper and everything crashes into you. And That's I'm the like, point. <laughs> Bro, I was yeah, driving. you need to get so good. Dri- yeah, I was driving. A, I'm driving like a futuristic car that is like it just levitates and it goes like fucking it guns it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah uh, I'm not going to lose. I, I, I crashed six times no. in 30 <laughs> seconds. Lost the race in last place. I was like, you know what? Fuck this game. <laughs> Fuck this game. I'm out of here. It just I takes some mind. time. I, I, I remember I did a, a review for Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels game. Beat and that. I was so pissed at that game because it was very difficult to... Uh, what is that? A cat? What's the cat doing? <laughs> I was really mad I at how the game controls and how easy it was to just like crash or or to get stuck. Like, like one little simple bump by another car like sets you back mm-hmm. like to the last place not an exaggeration um mm-hmm. and then it was also very it was very easy to get off track which also slowed you down but the thing is that I, obviously you know i want to keep on continuing to play the game and get better to kind of give it a proper review mm-hmm. so I, I i just kept on playing and i got better and better and better to the point where i started to get the little nuances in the game that the game wanted you to get which was um 
taking advantage of shortcuts. So you could go off track on purpose and cut through and end up being in oh. first place for certain things. Also, like taking advantage of all the airtime, taking advantage of slowing down other people's other cars and things like that. So like there's all these nuances to the game that I didn't get for quite a while. But when I did, that's when I started to have fun with the game. No, I, 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 I love Burnout because it was a card game and it was like fucking nine bucks so it was it was a steal it was like it made no mm. sense not to buy it but um the cars being paper that shit bro that shit kills me because it's like you get like if you slam into anything not even slam if you bump any car your car explodes like it just hits something <laughs> wait, wait, which game I'm you're like, playing bro i swear i don't I, remember them being that sensitive that you're talking paradise, about paradise paradise is my, paradise. one of my favorite burnouts no, Paradise for me, I'm trying to I'm trying to play and not be upset, but it's like every time I race, I, I like just driving a fast car. I tried the motorcycle. The motorcycle has no control. Like I was like, what is what the fuck am Jeez. I driving? I feel like I'm driving like I'm riding on skates and I just have a stick here and then like wherever the fuck the skates decide to go is where I'm going. But mm. I've been I've been I think it's because I'm in the beginning hours of the game, so I'm still trying to understand it. I go yeah. off off road so fucking bad in races that I end up in last place, and that's what I'm trying to understand. I want to play yeah. you in Mario Kart. I have Mario Kart already. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I will I play you guys. I need to play. I need to buy that shit. Uh, yeah. That's, that's... Um. What was it? So I I want you to go back to Burnout, and I want you to like if there's a handling rating in in that, please tell me what it is because I feel like the handling must be fucking shit. Bro, the hand the handling for the car. Yeah. No, the, the car's handling, it's amazing. It's I don't know how to stop. I just hit you, gas. You just this, hit gas. You let go. This, this, is, this is me. This is me driving the game. I'm hitting this button. I'm not letting go. <laughs> so the race is over. <laughs> and then I blow up like six times. And I'm well, like, you know well, what? There's your problem. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to learn how to like slow down that I don't, I don't ex- like explode. But it's fun like just sh- gunning it. Like when that like your the other competitor is not even on the map, I'm like, I'm doing something right, mm. and then I end up in seventh place, and then I'm like, I'm doing something. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> no one's around me because the race is already it's over. Already over. <laughs> so, uh, so Randy, and they all are, went home and had lunch. What have you been playing lately? What have I been playing lately? Before the podcast, I was playing BPM, the bullets for oh, minute. Oh, I still have that on my list. I got to get that. It's really fucking good. Yeah. Um, I failed multiple times because the game is a lot harder than I remember it being. Mm. They updated it a lot. Mm-hmm. I unlocked a new character, figured out their gimmick right away, and then first tried it with them on hard. So now I have to try very hard with them. I don't think it's going to go that well for me, to be quite honest. Good luck, man. Uh, luck. Yeah, thank you. Um, I re-downloaded Witcher because I'm going to play that. Witcher 3? Uh, 2. two. Oh, well, I didn't like Witcher 2. You like Witcher 2? I enjoyed Witcher 2. I didn't like the fun. mechanics for it. Have you played Witcher 1? Yeah. Did you like Witcher 1? Eh. Did you like how it controlled? This, I got, is, this is the main question. I got. <laughs> I, I was more tolerable with Witcher 1 and not so much Witcher Story-wise 2. Story-wise or control-wise? Control-wise. Interesting. Yeah. Because uh, if you go back to Witcher 1, I'm pretty sure you're going to find that it controls like dog water. Uh-huh. Because everything is bound totally differently. Uh, it's, yeah. it's been a while. So I don't know. It, go back to it. You're gonna you're gonna have a lot of fun figuring that out. <laughs> I didn't expect to play dog water. Yeah, right. It, it's it's still a good game. It's just like everything that you that you get used to from playing two and three because two and three they have the bindings very similar like between both games. So you could go back to play them whenever the fuck you want. Now uh-huh. one has it bound totally fucking differently. Oh, so that, that, that's like a DMC oof, DMC two and. Three change different, like mm-hmm. they're completely different. But yeah, um, what else have I played? Uh, Viscera cleanup detail with Letty. Uh, I, I saw I you guys playing it does. on uh, on Discord, uh, like a day or two ago. Yeah, fucking, I clean way better than she does, and <laughs> she could fight me after if she wants. But I'm just know, yeah. bro, fucking. <laughs> I'm not saying that she should be better at this for any other particular reason, but like, come on, as a guy, me beating you, babe, come on. And also, <laughs> he keeps also spilling borderlines. everything she <laughs> says. I keep, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let, okay, so I'm going to go out tangent real quick. The quote of last time we played was, I'm going to clean it. I swear, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it. 
I would turn around and just see every bucket flipped over or just like corpses everywhere. I was like, come on. <laughs> I, without saying anything, she saw the disappointment from my character. <laughs> he just, That's funny. He just... <laughs> The, the character's just standing there. <laughs> he's, standing there. he's like not moving. He's just like doing the animation. Like. You can see your music from my end. Like, okay. okay fucking. Uh, you keep living the buckets and... in the middle of the floor. Of course, I'm a trip. <laughs> but you should know that they're there, though. Oh, you know geez. my MO. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Damn. Kevin, mom and dad are fighting now. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, and also, we've been playing Borderlands, too. <coughs> the both uh, of you guys? Yeah, yeah. Nice. We we got past the part that we left off. Yeah, you mentioned that before. The Dune part. Yeah. So we're actually really close to the end. We're two zones away from the final boss. Oh, jeez. Uh, spoilers, Letty. Sorry. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, it's over mm. here. Found it. And yeah, that's that's really about it. Uh, I haven't played anything on the PlayStation lately. I feel like I got on Genshin for like half an hour, just got ugh with it, and I thought you usually that played that like, on your phone. No, no, no. I, I did it. Uh, I did it on both. Uh, After I found speaking... out that I could sync like the uh, controller to the the phone. Oh right. right. Oh, I started doing that. But uh... speaking of PS Five, by the way, uh, one of the free games that's um that gonna be for February is Tiny Tina, her 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 um Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if that's multiplayer or not. But I would love to play it that should game. Should be. Yeah. It definitely should be. I haven't played it yet, so I would love to play that. What the fuck? Wait, is that already? Doing? No, in February. So it's like oh, next okay, so okay. week, about a week Wait, or two. No, no, later. no, no. We can't do that. What do you mean? Do you know what comes out? In Feb- do you know what comes out? Dude, in like February? fifty games come out in February. Like Fucking I'm gonna be, Kirby. I'm Kirby gonna be, sh- I'm gonna be stressed. Oh. Off. I'm gonna look. Pokemon listen, listen. Tonight. I got six classes <laughs> that I'm taking for college right now. I'm gonna be stressed the fuck out because of all these games that are coming out in February, and you know I gotta <laughs> play them. <laughs> can, we, can we play Kirby? Yeah, We're yeah, playing yeah, Kirby. I'm- Kirby Sonic comes out. Fucking. I already bought. Fight. I already bought. Oh, C- I'm oh fuck! I'm gonna do I'm this again. Thinking about it. I I'm already. Ooh, thinking about hold on. While he gets his thing, uh, Kevin, have you seen? Oh uh, fuck! I have to go on YouTube. There's a Sonic fan game that came out. Sonic Drift, I think. With the... No, not Sonic Drift. What the fuck is it? Is it the fighting game? No, it's not a fighting game. Uh, I could search in my history, right? All right. Sure. Yeah, just be careful with your history there. With your history. Oh, huh? yeah. yeah, we're so, live. I forgot. So, so, all right. So, listen. I uh, we got Kirby coming out. I already pre-ordered Sifu. We got Horizon coming out, and then we got Elden Ring, which I already got all those games. I'm just waiting for it to come out. And then the Destiny, the Destiny Two expansion. I got my shot ready. The Destiny Two expansion is what's going to take up most of my time. And yet, I still gotta study for these six fucking classes and still do the podcast do and game reviews yeah. and game reviews. You know, you, you know, you know. It's crazy. February, there is, I think, at least three fighting games coming out. So, guess where the fuck my money's going? And Pokemon comes out tomorrow. I'm getting probably the week after. Uh, Arceus? Arceus, Arceus comes yeah. out today. Where you can drown. Yeah. So I can drive. I can I can battle these Pokemon, and I can be like, "All right, cool." No hands. <laughs> we shooting them. No, we not throwing Pokeballs. We throwing Poke Glocks because we not <laughs> these Pokemon. <laughs> it's like that Pokemon so first person shooter game. Yeah. Sonic Storm. That's what it's called. Sonic Storm. Uh, Sonic Storm. <laughs> it's, so it's a fan game, and it looks fucking awesome. It's a uh, sort of like semi open world. It's still pretty linear, but there's like multiple paths that you could take to get to the goal. But the art style reminds me a lot of uh, Musashi X, the oh, PS2 yeah, game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Google it. Google, Google Musashi I'm, X. I'm, I'm, mm. uh, Musashi X. I'm, look, I'm looking at the Sonic trailer. Sonic Storm. I don't know why, but it's giving me like Jet Set vibes. Oh, oh, hold on. Why is it the here. first thing I saw was big boobs? Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, <laughs> nah, Samurai bro, Legend. Musashi Samurai Legend. Just put that. Just put that. Wait, did yeah. you? Yeah, okay. Oh, nah, this is giving me Jet Set vibes, bro. I'm jacking it. It's Set... giving me the what no, blast? No, no, no. Uh, Sonic Storm. Oh, is this like oh, a Brave Storm Fencer Storm. Musashi um spinoff? It's it's a different yeah, it's a different fucking one. It Wait. didn't do as good as a uh, Brave Fencer did. Oh. But it's was part there of the a series. Mus- was there a Musashi game that there was like I'm not trying to be like pervert or anything, but like big titty anime girls? I think there was, and I played it. It was on PS2. 
was god awful. I couldn't get past the second stage. I don't know. All right. Anyways. Oh, well, for me, so I didn't even mention what I've been playing. Um, I beat Halo Infinite. So yeah, Halo Infinite. Baby. Hold on, I'm... hold on, hold on. I got you right now. <laughs> uh, I kind of delayed there a bit. Well, the, the the fucked up thing about Halo Infinite, and this is, so this is spoilers, but kind of not Does spoilers. Does he finish the fight? <laughs> he fucking, oh my God, Kevin. He I does the same bro. shit as part two. He goes into his little pelican with the with the with the flight with the pilot, and the pilot's like, "So what are we gonna do next?" We're finishing the. We're fight. finishing the fight, <laughs> and it fucking ends right there. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Why? Why? Why are you doing this again? You already know the reaction that, that people had with this shit, and you're doing it again. Oh my god! So yeah, you never you never get closure to anything that happens in the end of the game. It's just we're gonna finish the fight later, again. and that's it. And it goes to credits. Oh my god! Roll the Halo theme. <laughs> Roll that shit. So. <sighs> The game was amazing. I love the game. It's so I, I, fucking good. But that ending again, like you no, you can't you can't do that twice. That's fucked up. You can't do it twice. Dad. Dad, they're gonna hit you with DLC. He's gonna go <laughs> <laughs> upside down like we're finishing the fight. <laughs> but first you must pay nineteen ninety nine. Exactly. <laughs> you bought Halo Infinite, you didn't buy the infinite season pass. <laughs> Sorry, you, you Randy, you need to come up with my with my episode titles. <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> gets mad. yeah. <laughs> so so aside from that, um, I I actually helped out a buddy of mine. He I work with him in in the coalition. Uh, mm-hmm. He does ga- he's one of the editors, but he also does game reviews as well. Um, Adam Vale. So I play with him on Xbox. And he was reviewing Rainbow Six Extraction, so I got to play that for quite a while because he hooked me up oh. with 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 a copy of of that, so we can both do the review for him, so you can get the the multiplayer sense. Really fucking good. It is brutally hard. It is um, not a traditional Rainbow Six game. Uh, it's 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 very. It was very aggravating because challenging, like, but still a good game. It was aggravating because it has this system where if you get hurt too much, and even if you make it out alive in, 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 in the level, but if you get hurt too much, your character is unusable for a certain duration of the game because it has to recover. So not only do you lose characters, because you could pick out, initially when you first play the game, you could pick out, I believe it's eight characters. So you're down one character or two or three or four, depending on how many times you try the, the levels. Mm-hmm. And so you're down these characters if you get hurt too much. Not only that, but if you die and you fail the mission and you get left behind, you lose those characters until you go. In a sense, you lose those characters for good. But if you have these other side characters that you could use, you, you can go, go you can go back and rescue them. Uh, and that's the only way to get them back. That's so, a really good mechanic. So there's a there's this mechanic that's like really frustrating but really interesting. It sounds like a roguelike. In a sense, <laughs> in a sense, cuz the thing is is that each character again, they have their they have their own classes, so they have each their own skills. So some skills are just like I don't I don't like this fucking character, but I have to play with this character in order to meet in order for me to get the character that I want to play with. Mm. So it's just like, so the way it works is that you go through a level, which is like a specific location on, on, and the first map is New York and New York has different locations. Do they hit you with a, yo, let me get a bacon, egg and cheese. A bacon, egg and cheese. That's one of the missions. (laughs) That's one of the missions. (laughs) (laughs) So, so like, so you, you, you go through the mission. You let's say, for example, one of the maps is the Statue of Liberty. So you go to the Statue of Liberty um and then you run around and you do your thing and there's three objectives in each map and they're randomized so you do so you can go to the first objective that's the easiest objective to do the second objective it gets harder 
and then the third objective it's the most hardest one and you go through different levels different locations in that map for each objective so it gets significantly harder so you could literally just do the first objective and then extract out and leave and beat the game and beat the level uh and then you only get that amount of experience points for that one objective that you completed so like there would be times where like me and adam would be playing the game and we would be like all right first objective is to do this all right yeah that's easy let's go do it real quick and we get it out of the way and then we look at the second objective and we have to think about it for a minute we'd be like is it worth it will we actually will we actually make it or will we die trying and then we have to do the whole thing over we lose all the experience points so like it's no. that it's that it's that it's that weighing of of like pros and cons and shit it's more like a the, risk, the risk versus risk. reward. Oh, Ooh. we were there. Ooh. Yo, so you know um, what's a game that did that before? Uh, well, before this one that I actually <laughs> enjoy playing, uh, Cold War. So Cold War, the zombies is not like, oh, you just play till you die. It's more like a, okay, you play till, let's say it's round. Tw- so it's every five rounds you get an extraction. You get the extraction and then um, you just fight the horde of zombies in that area. And then like eventually you leave. But the problem is, if the zombies overwhelm you, the, the extraction machine, like the extract, the helicopter basically gets blown up. It gets hit with a, ro- a missile from the Russians, and uh, then it just goes down, and you fail the mission. But if you do it, it's a lot harder in the later rounds, because then they start summoning, like, the boss zombie, and then he comes out often, and he counts as a regular zombie. Mm. So you have to kill him twice, because you kill him once, and then he splits, and then you have to kill him again. But like the extraction idea, I was like, I like it. I like. It. Yeah. I, I, I was actually looking at it, and I was like, should I? Should that be the first game I get for uh, Xbox? I it's like, it's quite know. a it's quite a grind. But if you guys get it, let me know, and I'll play with you guys. Like I'll walk you through how everything works and stuff. It's it's bro, really good. Bro, I, I'm doing it. I'm probably gonna do it off PC, and then I'll play it off the mm. the PC, and I'll just think, do it like th- that. Think of it as GTFO Lite. GTFO, yo, GTFO is a game I want to get back into. Yeah, <clears throat> me too. But I need just need a whole group because we can't we just need, do like. Yeah, three. Well, we have now. three. Yeah. We just need a fourth. Need a fourth. Yeah. Anybody hey, out there? Hey, yo, Letty. Anybody out oh, there? Oh, Letty. Actually, oh, hold on. Let, can Letty handle that? A bucket of anxiety. <laughs> Let's do it. No, no. Listen, I played with. I played. Um, what the fuck was it? Um, it was. It was. It was a game for free, and I was like, I know I can't play this game with. Dan with, with Drunk Guardian or Randy because they'll piss me off. So uh-huh. it's basically, like it's SWAT, it's door kickers. That game I cannot play with any teammates because every teammate I play with, <laughs> they fucking die, and I'm like, all right, now I'm carrying this whole. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, door kickers. Uh. Yeah, and it it pisses me off because I'm like I'm like I was playing with a, a friend uh, Loki, which is funny because it's the same name as your dog, mm. and uh, and she was like, maybe it was a dog. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, yo, I, she was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I just said, I was like, you'll be fine. Just don't go in the door unless I give you the signal. Yeah. And it was like, we were talking on Discord. And, and she didn't like, listen, no did she? This up. She kicks the door down, gets boom with a shotgun. I'm like, and I'm at 50%. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. have a hand. Yo, I let, can't do this. If, yo, if you can get Letty, that'll still be fun. <laughs> we, should, we should play with Letty too. We, should, we, we gotta do that. We got a fourth. We got a fourth. We just let these gotta agree. Just start panicking. Everybody's like, "What am I doing?" Just she, don't she has no, uh, she has no wish in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so, so, <laughs> gotcha. so, so we got that for for GTFO. Um, yeah, so Rainbow Six was really good. It was really well done. Oh yeah, she's she, she's she's iffy about it. Uh, so, <laughs> so I have been playing. I have been streaming actually when I had time, and that was before I started classes. So now I started classes. I don't have time to stream, but. I was streaming Black Mesa, which was a remake of the Half-Life uh, game, the original Half-Life game. It's done very, very well. Uh, it, it runs a little bit too long, in, in my opinion. Like, they, there's a lot of filler and a lot the of... Zen episodes. Well, the Zen parts, mainly. No, not even. The Zen, the Zen really? didn't even... No, the Zen was like maybe three chapters at the most. It was mostly just... Um, once you actually got out of the laboratory is when a lot of like just it was just it was just a lot it was just a lot it was just a lot of like all right now i'm in a factory okay now i'm in like a garbage disposal place okay now i'm in like a random uh industrial place okay now i'm in a 
a military base. All right, now I'm in. It's just it's just, it was just throwing a lot of locations for just no fucking reason. I got I got tired of it. I was just like uh, I'm done. I beat the game, um, and I never got to stream the ending of the game because I just I was just like fuck it. I just want to get through this and 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 see how the Zen uh maps were, and the the Zen maps were actually done very well. And in in a sense, yeah, the the Zen maps they they were stretched out a little bit, but not compared to the rest before you get to Zen. Uh, but overall. The gameplay and everything was done really well. Um, they introduced uh, a little bit of like some extra like weaponry in a sense, and um, uh, the the healing stuff in Zen, because in Zen like you really didn't really heal that much, uh, aside from like the health packs and, and the regular um, shield mm. thingies. And then you fought the last boss differently too, but uh, it it was really well done. It was really good. I liked it a lot, and. The next thing I'm going to play for PC eventually is um, Inscription. I really, really want to play Inscription. Oh, so yeah. I, ha- I already yeah. have it downloaded and installed and ready to go. But I again, I have to have the time to play it, and I want to stream it too so like, you know, people can get my initial impressions of the game when I first start it. But it's getting crazy good reviews. So I really want to play it. Wait, I have a question for Randy. Randy, is Inscription a game manly badass, badass hero? Player? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know a game that. Oh, did you guys play it? No, no, no. I watched this whole playthrough of it. That game is it's too mm. scary for me. <laughs> scary? Is it scary? It's it's, 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 a, it's MTG horror. Oh, yeah. that makes me want to play it more. Yeah. Okay. I I like the concept of it. Um, the idea, like the whole um, like card game whole, aspect of the, it. The hard, the hard, the whole card game aspect of it as you just said so mm-hmm. i'm a little buzzed right now i'm trying to figure out my thoughts without trying yeah. to get lost um but once you understand it it becomes amazing and like me explaining it to like my brother it it's like easy because like you get it like the concept because I, I don't want to spoil it for anybody it's an easy easy no, it's, rules it's already the spoiling episode just go for it don't be shy no 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 no, 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 no i haven't no, played no, it yet <laughs> this, this, this don't game, be shy bro, spoil I, some I, more. I, I, want, I actually want to play the game i actually like that's a game that i want to uh. i want to play so I, I got seen the whole ending for it, but I still want to play the game. And it's that good that even watching it makes you want to play it. So if you guys ever see yeah. an inscription, watch that shit. I mean, play that shit. No, I don't I don't want anything spoiled. I avoided so I follow Markiplier and he Markiplier will play like all the newest PCs, like like good PC mm-hmm. games. And I purposely skipped all his inscription playthroughs because I just I wanna do it with no, fresh I eyes. It, I saw it by chance and I was like, damn, this game still looks good. Mm. Um so it's it's even even though it's good it's uh like I still want to play that shit amazing yeah. amazing a phenomenal ass title and it deserves it too oh yeah it yeah it's got great it's got great reviews so uh do we have any Who's final thoughts that? before we move well, before we're done for the day uh peanut butter jelly sandwich is amazing fucking right, awesome breakfast lunch yeah. and dinner what no <laughs> and dessert too <laughs> and dessert, dessert? Is that? Oh, no. All right. So um, I'll sooner stream before I ever do TikToks. By the way, really? Yeah. I I really think you'd do good with TikToks. Yeah. Honestly, sure. I honestly can, think you would. You can hit us with like a quick bit of like Kingdom Heart lore, bro, and it would change the world. Like, yeah. I didn't like I didn't like because like because nowadays TikTok. now now you could do TikTok, you could do three minute videos, and like you can oh, easily. Sweet. Yeah, you could you could easily do uh, um, a, like a, a real tidbit lore of Kingdom Hearts every single video, and like you will never run out because you always have something to say about it. So like you know it's fu- you oh know it's word I always have something to say. That's yeah, what you feel? yeah, it's fucking yeah, it's annoying. Like, I hate no, you. I know. <laughs> you know you know it's funny. You can do a whole um, background on each Keyblade, and you can start a podcast. hell yeah and that, yeah, and, and that that's something that I I know you know most of the lore for. Even though it, it, it all right, guys. Well, have a good night. Fucking push. <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked now. <laughs> and the thing no, is, no, like, no. you you have a phone, so you could easily do TikTok like now. You don't even have to stream. You can do that shit now, and I will Randy, follow Randy, you. Randy, just do TikTok. So I can just do TikTok. That's shit it. Means. <laughs> so 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 I am forcing Rick, uh, Randy the Rignorock to do a TikTok, and and he'll have his link on our website in 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 a week. Only fans. Only fans. <laughs> Sorry, only fan because it's one fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, so and we're we're streaming video on Twitter page. We're closing. We're closing the show now. Uh, thank you guys for joining us, 
And uh, don't forget that we're here live every Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch. And you can check out the Gamer Guardian, well, not the Gamer Guardians, GamerGuardians.net for all the links to the audio podcast version and the YouTube version of the show if you guys want to check those out. And Bonus Bones also does his own uh, Twitch streaming as well. So Bonus Bones. So, guys, I haven't been streaming in a while. I know you haven't seen it. So, <clears throat> uh, personal stuff happened. I'm uh, not going to get into it, but I'm going to start streaming on the 3rd, 4th, and Sunday, which I think is the 6th, 7th. Uh, is it 6th? The 7th. I'm bugging. So it's the 7th of February. So I'm starting off like literally next month, and I'm going to post more videos on YouTube. I'm going to start streaming again, and uh, I'll be mainly streaming uh, old school games, like retro games. Like the first game I'm going to do is, I didn't, I streamed it. I mean, I played it, but I didn't stream it. Is uh urban range which is a very difficult game made by fucking bandai and uh fridays is always going to be fighters and then i'm going to go back to my mega man sunday so i'm going to do the entire mega man series the x and then i'm going to go back and do the classic mega man which i'm going to hate myself so i'll let's see you guys <laughs> over there at uh, bonus bonus mm. underscore tv at twitch.tv <clears throat> and same thing for the youtube just no underscore tv it's uh if you guys are watching, it's right here. Right above his head. <laughs> right right above my head. But if you guys aren't watching, it's uh I, I said it earlier, bonus bones uh underscore TV on Twitch. And love to see you guys over there. Stay powerful, stay beautiful. Yeah. All right, guys. So we'll see you next week. Keep in mind we also do the health potion podcast. So it's a, a segment on our show that where we talk about uh the gaming community. <laughs> health, um, mental health issues that people deal with and stuff like that. So we're going to do an episode right after this show. So keep an eye out for that on audio version of the podcast only. Check that out. And uh, y'all have a good week. Later, guys. Bye-bye.